Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, this can's just a little heavy. Holy. I need to set that down. God, I don't know how the hell I'm going to shoot this review being so damn heavy. Let's do this, guys. At least we'll try. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for another Roosh Brewski review. And today, the beer I have for you looks like a very all black can, but it's black with some very dull, dull gold coloring on it, which the light ring actually picked up quite nicely. This is by Lake Wilcox Brewing Company out of Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. This is their oomph lager. Limited edition special release in collaboration with uh, the the Todd Shapiro show. Interesting. Very, very interesting. How much alcohol? 5% ABV, 16 IBUs, and 4 on the SRM scale. So it's a lager and it's a collab brew. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Black can gold writing. It's pretty hard to see in regular light, to be honest. When you put it up to the ring light, obviously makes it a bit easier to see, but that's one thing to note. It's kind of hard to read, but we're going to crack this open anyway. See what we got. Black can. Is it going to be a black lager? I honestly don't think so. It probably would have said it on the can. I'm pouring it into my regular glass because regular glasses are fine for right now. Let's see what we got. Get a decent amount of head on there. <clears throat> Looking at the beer fairly clear, a little touch of haze, huge white head on top. That wasn't a super aggressive pour, but it just came out that way. Something to note, a lot of carbonation bubbles come straight up though. Outside the light, again, very clear, slight bit of haze. Nice golden, pale yellow color indeed. Just like a lager should have. Let's have a smell. Going through the head because it's harder for me to find stuff through the head. Um, ooh, what is that? Like a lemongrassy sort of citrusy note. Slight uh, sweet melon in there as well. Light breadiness. Just a sweeter aroma from a beer. Lemongrass, citrus, melons. A little bit of cream corn in there. I'm not getting too much of a like caramel or toffee note. Just smell, just smell, just smell sweet. Let's have a sip. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, where did that white grape come from? There was like a white grape, almost funky yeast, almost. Um, What's the name? saison sort of flavor coming off of there. I don't know where that came from, but I'm kind of enjoying it. That is interesting. That is really interesting. I need more sips and more evaluation and more research. So with that said, guys, cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, that is the most funky lager I've ever had that is wow that is funky you get you get that sort of white grapey champagne-esque flavor with this uh, the carbonation isn't as effervescent compared to say a um, uh, a saison by any means but it is a weird twist of a beer holy in the front you get big citrus a little bit of orange and then you get that white grape funkiness right afterwards. Ending. On more of a bland note, it ends quite rapidly, but you do get some residual sweetness laying around, which isn't too, too bad. Obviously a very refreshing beer, but if you're looking for just a regular style lager, you're not gonna get that. You're gonna, you're gonna get a little bit, a little bit more than you bargained for, which in my case is not a bad thing. But again, not for everybody. So just something to note. Moving over to the can, very black can. Lake Wilcox Brewing Co. Oomph Lager. Jeez, I'll tell you, it's got some oomph. Limited edition, like I said, special release in collaboration with uh, the Todd Shapiro Show. 
Toronto Desired Driven. Desire, yep, Desired Driven, very nice. 5% ABV, 16 IBUs, and 4 on the SRM scale. Uh, beer, 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 beer description. Good beer awaits you. Brewed in collaboration with entrepreneur slash personality Todd Shapiro, Oomph Lager was created to reflect Bull Toronto's desire and drive and Lake Wilcox's Brewing Co.'s premium quality craft beer. This limited edition unfiltered blonde lager is a refreshing burst of instant enjoyment your taste buds are waiting for. The Waiti hops create a little citrus up front, settling down, I mean settling into a delicious stone fruit flavor in the back. Low on bitterness with an overall smooth finish, Oomph Lager doesn't seek the spotlight, it, ju it just happens to be a natural star. Very, very nice description. So I guess that's stone fruit that I'm getting, not white grape. I don't know why I say white grape, that's sort of where my mind takes me to. But I guess that stone fruit and I kind of got to get used to now changing over what I think it is into what it may or may not be. But I'm still getting that white grape. Don't even get me wrong. That's interesting. On the side, uh, ingredients, ingredients, ingredients. I do not see any. But on the bottom, packaged on the whoa. Okay, this is a very old beer. This is, yeah, because it's the ninth month right now. This is from the January 10th, 2019. Still very fresh. Nothing wrong with it. But very interesting to see that it's a very old beer. Hasn't gone flat. Doesn't have any cheesy taste. But that's something to note, guys. Something to note. Thanks, LCBO. Moving over to the website, LakeWilcoxBrewing.com. You go over to the you go over to their website, and then down to the menu and the beer menu. You scroll down a bit. You pass the hour beers, and you end up going to a small batch of limited release. Oomph Lager is there and showing you all the sizes and pricing for the uh, for you know for the beer. Um, also has the same description and also alcohol, IBU, and SRM numbers as you will find on the can. But um, pricing for this, I guess this is at the brewery if I'm not mistaken. For a single 473 ml can, it's $325, $1890 for six of them. 24 packs going to be $70.80. A growler, 64 ounces, will be. Um, fifteen dollars plus whatever deposit, but fifteen is just for the beer. Uh, you can get thirty liter, liter kegs for just under one hundred and seventy bucks, and fifty liter kegs for just under two hundred and seventy dollar hairs, plus whatever the deposit is. So just something to know. I love how they give you that nice list of everything available. At your LCBO though, is it going to be any different than the uh, three twenty five? Whoa. 325 showing on the website, but at the brewery, 295. I mean, not at the brewery. At the brewery showing 325, but at the LCBO, you're paying 295. I don't know why the difference. I thought it would be a little bit more expensive at the LCBO, but apparently not. Something to note as well. Finally, moving over to untapped. Oof by Lake Wilcox Brewing Company has been given a 3.32 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of just over 500 ratings. Solid, solid for sure. Um, it, it, it is a very interesting beer. It is definitely not like a regular lager that I've ever had before. I was not expecting this, but it is something that, you know, just catches you off guard. Thankfully, I like these flavors, but like I said, if you're just going in for a craft lager, something different than your butter Canadian, and you see this, thinking it's going to be more on the lager side of things. It, it, it is, but it, then again, it totally isn't. It's a totally different animal, um, even though it still be still may, yeah, still may be under the lager category. It does not taste like a traditional lager. I'm kind of liking it, though. So cheers, everybody, on the final sip. Let's get right to ratings and wrap this thing up. It's 
crisp, it's refreshing, it's a little astringent, drying off the mouth just a touch because of the, uh, I don't know, white grapey funkiness that I'm getting off the beer, which I guess was stone fruit, but I just need to change over my wording, sorry to say. But yeah, it is uh, definitely not like a regular lager, even like a craft lager by any means, which is kind of cool, but also can throw some people off. Um, what else? I'm enjoying it, but I was kind of hoping for a regular lager, and this isn't it. But it is still just damn good. Um, what else to know? I don't know. It smells great, tastes pretty damn good. I'm enjoying it quite well. It's nothing crazy. Actually, it's kind of crazy for a lager, to be honest. But I'm going to give Lake Wilcox um, oomph, lager a solid Solid 8 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, I'm not a big fan of these black cans and dark writing on them. It is, gets it kind of hard to read and kind of uh, just annoying, but it's a nice, nice little, nice little design. Uh, good information, you got description and ABV, IBUs, SRM. You have a slightly detailed list of the hops that are used, or at least one that was used. Uh, you do not have ingredients, but you do have a brewed on date, clearly labeled, actually double stamped because they fixed it, which is even better, on the bottom. Website looks nice, very basic though, no dedicated page, just a little blurb, but I do like how they include all of the sizes that, that are available for the beer itself, so that's a nice added bonus. Overall presentation, presentation gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on review in the future, we all oh, that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruce, you'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, guys, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruce. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. It's a lager, but does not taste like a lager. Hey, 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 hey. Mm, 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 mm. Bum, 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 bum. Mm.